I'm Peyton Kane. And I'm Caden Martz. Coming up on today's show, a favorite lab has returned to one classroom this week, an important message from administration, and teacher spotlight. Stay tuned, you're watching Roar TV. Hey Oviedo, it's Caroline. Hey Oviedo, I'm Peyton Kane. Oviedo, I'm Kaden Martz. Hey Oviedo, it's Yana with today. And this is your main five from Building Five. Good morning, Oviedo. It's Friday, October 6, 2023. And welcome back to Roar TV Weekly. Weekly. Every year, chemistry students get to do a lab that can probably best be described as groovy. The creation of tie-dye shirts is a favorite every single year, and reporter Aubrey Sandifer visited Mr. Wisenin's classroom to learn a little bit more about this retro-themed activity. Hey Oviedo, I'm Aubrey Sandifer, here to talk to Coach Wisenin about a chemistry tradition. Tell us exactly what this tradition is. Well, we're doing tie-dye, Aubrey. We've been doing tie-dye for, it's our 28th year doing this, and it's something we do every year, and it's based on a couple things, uh, wavelengths and colors of light that we can see, and also molarities of concentrations of solutions, and then also it's an acid-base reaction. A lot of chemistry involved in tie-dye, and it's fun to do and show our colors around school. How did it start exactly? It's my first year teaching, actually Dr. Daniel taught me how to tie-dye. She was a chemistry teacher at Winter Springs and we went to her school for a in-service instruction. She showed us how to tie-dye and I went, I'm doing that and we've been doing it every year since. Great, thank you. It's the first Friday of October, so spooky season is upon us. And it's often true that new and unfamiliar things can spook people. None of us usually like having to learn to do something different from what we know. But like it or not, Minga is the new way of handling tardies and digital IDs here on campus. Mr. Galindez has a message for us this morning concerning Minga. Good morning, Lions. It's Mr. Galindez, and I want to go over with you some of the new features of Minga. I hope you guys are down, have downloaded the app, are using it, and are getting fluent with it. One of the new features is your digital ID. This is what you use to get into homecoming. This is also what we're going to use to, la to allow you to leave campus if you have a partial schedule. Soon you will see at the top of your, of your digital ID a sticker and that sticker will indicate what periods that you have off campus. So this will make things a lot smoother for those with partial schedules when you are leaving and entering campus. We'll need to see those digital IDs with those stickers to let us know that you are supposed to be off campus and when you're supposed to be on campus. We're also going to use these digital, digital IDs for homecoming. So make sure you download Minga and get familiar, familiarize yourself with the app. Thanks for your attention, and as always, go Lions! Roar TV will be bringing you more coverage on Minga in the coming weeks. For right now, though, we have coverage of a recent Teacher of the Week and Teacher Spotlight. Um, I teach AP Precalculus, and I teach MCA, Math for College Algebra. Um, I love in AP Precalc the complexity of the different problems and the different questions that the kids can come up with that really stretch not only my brain but their own brains. Um, and then for MCA, the personalities of the kids, the fact that I'm able to reach them and, and get them to understand math where they didn't think that they were able to understand it before, um, it really, you know, it's like a highlight of the day type situation. Do your homework. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Everybody's capable of doing every kind of math. It's just some I know have to work harder than others. And I would be there, no matter what, for all of my kids, any way that, that I can. They just have to tell me what they need from me and I'll provide it. Hey Oviedo, I'm Marley Moore with your Oaktown Sports Weekly Update. Girls Golf competed in the Seminole Athletic Conference Championship at Timaquan on Monday and took fifth overall. Hannah Booth tied for fifth overall with a score of 77, earning first team All-American Conference. Wednesday, swimming and diving won over Lake Mary on senior night, with the boys winning 244 to 90 and the girls winning 219 to 119. With the win, the boys close out their regular season undefeated for the fifth straight year in a row. 
with a 7-0 record, and the girls finished the season with a 5-2 record. Wednesday, boys bowling won 2,224 to 1,714 over Crooms, led by Spencer Rainwright and Ohm Tulane. Girls bowling also won over Crooms 1,526 to 1,450, led by Cameron S. and Natalie Harvey. Girls volleyball took on Timber Creek Wednesday, losing four very close sets. Yesterday, volleyball crushed East River in straight sets and were led by Delaney Sloan and Jamie Kapoor. That's all for your weekly O-Town Sports Update. Now back to Caden and Peyton. That's it for this week, Oviedo. Before we go, we're going to leave you with these photos of our recently announced Teacher School Related Employee of the Year. Huge congratulations to Miss Houston and Miss Baird. Have a great weekend and stay classy, Oviedo. Go, go Lions! Lions.